Hello guys, Nato Ace here. Just going to be just a quick vlog on Calco's latest announcement. And that is, finally, you, we get all the update, the date, the release date for the latest update for Street Fighter V. That's the new character, Ed. The new balance, uh, balance changes and the improved C, CFN, which is the Capcom Fighting Port Network for competitive players. So it's going to be May 30th. Uh, yeah, no surprise really. They've always been doing this. They always would release any update or add-ons to like the last day of the month. They did that with Season 1 with Gal, Alex, and technically, supposedly, uh, Ju uh, not Jury, but Balrog and Ibuki. But you, you got the idea. So, no surprise there. And also, I'm probably just guessing because of during the weekend, it's going to be Combo Breakers. It's a Capcom Pro Tour weekend. Weekend Premier Tournament, that's what I'm trying to say. So, they probably want to do that one first. Then, starting maybe in the month of June and so on, they're implementing the new update. And, of course, Ed. Yeah. So, what I think about it, I think, yeah, you know, if whatever it does to make the game good, I mean, like it's not a bad game. It just needed a lot of improvement it's for the casual gamer. It just needs more content. And I'm still waiting for that arcade mode. Seriously, Capcom, when are you going to release that arcade mode? Come on. But at least they were doing just some generous stuff. Uh, yeah, such as when you sign in, it's in Street Fighter Five. you have the game. Between May 30th to June 13th, you get... 50,000 free fight money from Capcom, so that's good. And then, if you decide to get the the Capcom Pro Tour 2017 season pass or the bundle, you get additional feature to get more fight money. So, I mean, I'm not gonna get it because I'm not gonna pay 24, 24 99 for something just cosmetic. It's just me because I'm, you know, I'm just a casual player, dude. You know, it's just me. So, but another surprise, I'm surprised, or two surprises that didn't see it coming. First was the Temple Hideout, a.k.a. the classic Street Fighter 2 M. Bison stage, is finally going back. You know, once again, people can buy them. They have said that they already, they already have the quote-unquote clean-cut music for the background for... You know, for the hidden temple or the te yeah hideout hideout temple. That's what I'm trying to say. And if you don't know what's going on, it, when they release it, I think in April, the song catchy. Believe me or not, it was actually good. It is like sounds like sinister. You know, like for you know, and bison. But at the same time, it was kind of like a little bit of controversy with the chanting. I'm gonna live to that and. Kako just wanted to play it safe and said, oops, you know, we just, we, I know it's going to go to, like I said, religious territory. So they were like, yeah, okay, okay, we're going to have to put it on hold, fix the music. So they said they're going to bring back the music, but it's going to be a different, they're doing some changes. So that's one surprise. But the second surprise that I didn't see it coming is the classic Street Fighter 2 Vegas stage with the fans. All right, so this is what I want to talk about more dealt on. All right, so if you're a gamer who are a Street Fighter fan and you play Street Fighter 2 in the arcades, then you know what I'm talking about. For somebody new who barely, probably started in Street Fighter 3, or heck, Street Fighter 4 and Street Fighter 5, if that's your first Street Fighter, you're starting just to barely know what Street Fighter is. This particular stage, I uh, forgot what's actually named for it, I think it's something Flamingo Tavern. But this classic stage has something unique, especially if you're a Vega player or for Vega characters. And that is, it has a fence. So, and what it does, especially what's introduced in Street Fighter 2, the vanilla one, is that Vega has an ability to climb on the wall and then jumps down. That's basically what the fence is. Uh, we play Vega in other stages, you know, he just jumps on the side like a wall jump. And then you can do Barcelona Drop, or Bar Zuna Trap, or the Club, you know, for Vega players. So the, so, the funny thing is that they brought it back at Street Fighter V. So, if you're Vega and you're playing that stage, yes, you are going to be able to do the wall climb. They even showed a GIF about it. I'm like, holy, holy, holy. 
Oh man, a lot of Vega players probably gonna take an advantage. So, and a lot of people about to say this already. Um, Alec from Backlog Battle basically said it also, and Vespa Arcade. And I had a feeling it's probably gonna be true. This station is gonna be banned for Kakum Pro Tour. Definitely, it's gonna be banned. It is gonna be banned, especially if you're a Vega player. Then you you get because it. Believe it or not, uh, it is a very advantage advantage doing the climbing the wall and hitting. Yeah, so that's no joke. I mean, the heck. Oh my gosh. Uh, I used to remember when I played Street Fighter 2, the the vanilla version, trying to beat Vega. I always have a hard time beating Vega because I was used to Street Fighter and, and I didn't understand the technicality of Street Fighter 2. Like, what am I supposed to do? Do I just block? Do I just jump back? I mean, the trick really in this one is, to some extent, you jump back and kick. That's really the safest way to some extent. But you never know the cat Vega or the computer or whoever may manage to grab you and do an Inzuna drop because again <laughs> the difference between the wall jump and a wall jump in the side and a fence jump, let's just say that is you could be anywhere and you just drop down. So you don't know where the character is. <laughs> where it's gonna go. That's the uh, thing and that's very advantage, like I said. So I wouldn't be surprised like a lot of people said, yeah, it's probably gonna be banned. I'm with probably casual players and I wouldn't be also be surprised if you're playing like at home just an online that you're gonna put what's your favorite stage? The Vega stage. Who's your favorite character? Vega. And then there you go. <laughs> That's all you need to do, and then probably probably gonna get mad or not. Of course, Vega players are going to love it because it's kind of sort of a signature, but at the same time, that's like a, whoa, a hidden advantage for Vega. And the thing is, like I said, because in the other version of Street Fighter 2, Championship, Turbo, Super, Super Turbo, even if you're a Vega player, you can actually do that. And I think in Street Fighter Alpha 3, where Vega's first debut in the Alpha series, you could do that also. Of course, you can't do it in Street Fighter 4 because there's no stage with the fans. Heck, Kako versus SNK it was the same deal also. <laughs> so, but then I'm just surprised that they brought that stage back. Oh my gosh. Can't wait to see how those Vega players are going to use an advantage. Of course, casual for fun. But let's see if they're probably going to... But I know that's probably going to be banned in tournament play. Because, come on. You know, I mean, yeah, it's kind of unfortunate, but it'd be cool. But again, you know, you can't really have that advantage, especially if you're a Vega player. I mean, they did already ban a lot of multiple stages in Street Fighter Five for the Kaka Pro Tour, which is one of the common ones that I always agree. The grid makes sense because the whole point of the grid is it's a study guide to understand your character. That's why there's a grid. They use those lines. Nobody wants to see that, and you know, Key Brad even made a good point, and I said, "Yeah." So thank you for banning that stage. But the other two that made me laugh is one is Kanzuki Private Beach because on the right side you can't see any move like go to the ground <laughs> because of the water. I mean, it's more visual than competitive. That's probably it. I mean, they even they try to defend by saying, "Well, not all stages are meant to be for competitive." Well, well yeah, true, but at the same time, it's Street Fighter. It's not Smash Brother. And then another one is um, Honor in the Sky, which is Rashid's stage. You're basically on a wing on a plane, but then the background is moving. The only problem with that one, the reason why they banned it is motion sickness. They, a lot of, for all I heard, a lot of tournament players, competitive players say that it could get them motion sickness. So they had a band in. I mean, kind of remind me of Pilot Wing, but the difference is there's no hazard like Pilot Wing. I love that stage. Pilot Wing for Smash Brothers for the Wii U. The Pilot Wing stage, man, that's so awesome. The concept behind it. So they probably got that idea minus the hazard. But again, beautiful it may be, but motion sickness, eh, you know. Yeah, those three stages, and of course, no surprise, it's probably going to ban the Vegas stage because, well, Vega can climb it. He can climb the fence, and that, like I said, that's basically more advantage than doing a wall jump, just saying that. So, yeah, I mean, May 30th, no surprise, really. They've been doing this. Uh, yeah, maybe I'll get back to it. i just been putting off because I just had another game. I did, like I said, I did play online during the F... The CFN beta with Ed was fun. 
So I might get back to it, get back to my groove. I mean, the game is fun. I know I'm not good at it, but it's all about fun for me. Check out the new balances. Maybe get better, maybe not. Maybe Daigo, hopefully he'll go back to Ryu. With I don't know if, if Ryu had a buff. I'll go back to check Vesper Arcade's um, video about it. Because seriously, um, personal note, Ryu, or not Ryu, uh, well, he is the Ryu player. Him playing as Gal just doesn't work. I'm sorry. I'm just going here in a limb. I don't think Daigo is good when it comes to zoning, because that's what Gal is. It's a zoning character, but I don't know. It just looks so weird him playing as Gal. It just doesn't work. It just doesn't work for me, you know. May, it may be personal opinion, but it is what it is. So, you know, who knows. So, yeah, that's my thoughts about the update. The true hidden surprise. The return of the Temple Hideout. And the re- and a new classic stage. The fl- the Flaming- the Flamingo Tavern, a.k.a. Vega Street Fighter 2 stage. With that, thanks for listening.